Ten years ago, it was the hardest of times for Lucinda Eubanks. Her husband, Sean O'Connell, was shot and killed just outside their home in Mandel Bay. Ten years later, sadly, the case hasn't been solved. I think about it every day. I think, you know, I think about him. And, um, but I also try and focus on the positive about what, what he brought to me and to the islands and the people that he met. Lucinda and I sat down this week. She shared what her journey and healing process has been like since this tragedy. Oh boy, <laughs> early on, I, every, every cell in my body ached. And um, I remember about seven months after he passed away, I woke up and I put my feet on the ground and I said, today is gonna be a good day. And I, you know, I made it my job. I, I made it my job to um, look for the good in life. And, um, and so that's what I chose. I chose to um, focus on the positive. For Lucinda, healing also meant continuing to help others, especially mentoring youth in the Virgin Islands community. Youth like Franzo, a young man who both Lucinda and Sean mentored before Sean died. Sean taught him math. Lucinda taught him art. What were some of the things that you did uh, as, as a young man back then to help you keep on going, moving forward in, in all the best ways and the ways that you, you knew and know Sean would want you to? The main thing I tried to focus on was, was um, perform in school academically um, because that's something he had a great part of doing in my life. Um, in terms of things I, I did to try to take the pain away, um, karate had a, a big role to play in that um, in terms of letting my anger out. Also, I made sure that I played a lot of sports. So playing sports also kept me busy. Another mentee, Tony Hill, remembers the impact Sean made on him, making a difference in his life. You know, the, the heavy part was adjusting to him not being here because of, you know, his influence and because of how heavy his presence was here. We learn to adapt to the situation that we're in, you know, at, to, at some point. Not, not be okay with it, I guess, but just adapt to it and deal with it. And I think that's, you know, for me, at least that's where I am with it. You know, I've adapted to the situation of where, of where that incident has left us. Um, but like I say, still looking for closure. For anybody who is uh, starting off on their journey or um, halfway through, um, see if you can Peel back those layers and and think about how you can make a difference in somebody's el somebody else's life because I guarantee you that will come back to you and um, it, it certainly has for me and and Franco and and the others that I've mentored um, it's it's um, it's really enhanced my life in St Thomas Ali Bornvenek USVI News.